Hello. The problem solving approach is greatly helped and strengthened by the fact you have a visual way to see problems. And for this, you put in place visual management and you need to have a clean and ordered place. This is done through the tool 5S. 5S are five words of sorting, segregating, shining, standardizing and sustaining that you apply progressively on the shop floor so that the area is well ordered, efficient and safer. Most risks in this approach is non-respect for the operators, that you are putting constraint on them and that they are feeling it as an obligation to do it, which means that it's no longer coming from themselves. In order to overcome that, let's go to see what those 5S means in lean principle for yourself in terms of mindset. I really like the movie Up in the Air with George Clooney. In this movie, George Clooney is embodying really 5S in his life, in everything he's carrying, everything he's speaking about. He's even going too far because in this movie, he's laying off people and he's saying in his speakings to avoid some relationship. It's not what I want to tell you through the little prince and the fox because we want to maintain a quality of relationship which is important. Outside of that, you can keep the mindset of George Clooney as we'll be able to see in the movie at the end of the sequence. Once you have embodied the 5S within yourself, going back to the essence, avoiding everything which is not needed within your life, then you can deploy it within a team. And in this case, you are going to respect together and find a way with other people to find a way to share a space of living, not only working, but living together and setting up together a way to have a place where you can be proud of working there. And you are caring about people's life. You are caring about yourself, about your health, about relationships there. This is the essence of 5S. Now, I invite you to discover this movie with George Clooney to go further on it. Thank you. Naomi is to fly with me. This is where I live. When I run my card, the system automatically prompts the desk clerk to greet me with this exact statement. Pleasure to see you again, Mr. Bingham. It's these kinds of systemized, friendly touches that keep my world in orbit. All the things you probably hate about traveling, the recycled air, the artificial lighting, the digital juice dispensers, the cheap sushi, are warm reminders that I'm home.